All right, congratulations to the Alabama fans. Y'all were right and Uncle Lou was wrong. Alabama wins the SEC championship 27-24. to There's still 50 seconds left, but Bama's just going to take a knee or two, and the game will be over. Uh, the streak comes to an end. 29 straight games, two straight national titles. Georgia will not be three-peating. They will not be making the college football playoff. They'll be off to a New Year's Six game. Disappointing end of the season for Georgia. But uh, to be honest, I'm, I'm not that upset. I mean, you can't win every single game. And um, the last two years as a Georgia fan has been a ride that I never thought I would get to experience as a Georgia fan. And I knew it would come to an end, but unfortunately, I didn't want it to come to an end this way. This is, this is the, so many Georgia seasons have ended this way. Over the years, I'm 44 years old. I, I've seen Georgia lose these close, heartbreaking, huge games at the end of season so many times. Like, you would think you'd get numb to it, but you really don't. Um, you know, and I was uh, live streaming a game on Patreon, and I was telling them a few minutes ago, I said, it's not that I would trade, like, you know, Georgia's big game losses in order to be, like, Florida and going five and seven or like Tennessee and being down for that many years or um, whatever. But in these big games, uh, and, and Georgia's been in, involved in some big games where they got blown out, but uh, it just seems like the majority of Georgia's big losses like this are heartbreaking like this. Like, you know, why can't, you know, why, why can't Bama just be up by like 30 at halftime? And then I kind of have the whole second half to process the loss and you don't have to get your hopes up. But the, Georgia kind of does this to you as a fan. They kind of string you along. Oh, you know, you, like you always are saying, well, damn, I thought it was over, but now they scored. Maybe it's not over. Um, so it's, uh, I mean, I, I don't really, I, I don't really know what to say. Uh, I don't know what people were expecting me to do when Georgia finally lost a game after two years or 29 straight or whatever, break TVs or yell and scream or anything like that. Um, I, you know, I'm not happy Georgia lost. Um, it was a great game and you got to give Milrow his credit. I've been hard on Milrow when it mattered in the end, Milrow finally put a good drive together in the fourth quarter here. Um, I thought he played terrible the first three quarters of the game. Um, Alabama only had 30 yards of offense in the third quarter. Uh, Georgia goes down, scores to cut it to three. And it, at that point, it felt like maybe Georgia was going to catch some momentum and may, maybe come back. Their defense had been playing lights out uh, the majority of the game, really, but particularly in the third quarter. And uh, when it mattered most there after that Georgia touchdown, uh, Alabama and Jalen Milrow came out and had the best drive of the game. Um, he completed, I don't even know how many passes, five, six passes on that drive, most of them to Isaiah Bond, and he took them right down the field and scored. Um, and again, it felt like it was over. Then Georgia gets the ball back, they go down and score, and, and, and that's the agony uh, of the Georgia fan, that you have to, it's like they, they keep you hanging on. You know, till the very end. Tough way to lose. Um, you know, you never want to lose an SEC championship game. You never want to lose to Alabama. Um, hell, you never want to lose at all. But nobody can win every game they play. And, uh, you know, I I'm proud to be a Georgia fan. I'm proud of what Georgia's done over the last three. Se I'm proud of Georgia this season. Um, you know, never mind the last two where they won national titles. I'm proud of Georgia this season. I mean, a 12-0 and regular season. Um, the first team in college football history to go 12-0 and for three straight regular seasons. And they came up three points um, short today against uh, Alabama. Congratulations to all the Alabama fans. Uh, congratulations to Alabama. And uh, we'll see what's going to happen. I mean, I don't know. I really don't know what's going to happen. I, it feels to me like Florida State needs to lose. Or I don't know that Alabama's going to make it in. I, I don't, I, I mean, I don't know. Um, do I think Alabama's better than Florida State? Yeah. I mean, I've been saying for three months, basically, I don't think Florida State is anywhere close to a top four team. 
Um, but I don't know what the committee is going to do here. I, I really don't know. Um, yeah, uh, Washington is in at 13-0. and 0. Um, It feels like Michigan will beat Iowa, right? So they're going to get in. That leaves two spots. Well, or, uh, uh, not, not Oregon, uh, Texas won huge today. They've probably been the most impressive team I've seen this weekend uh, between yesterday's games and today's games so far. I mean, they demolished Oklahoma State um, and made it look easy. And they have that head-to-head -head win over Bama. So it, it's, it, I, guess it, I guess it feels like it comes down to the Florida State game. Um, if Florida State beats Louisville, I don't know what the committee is going to do. Um, you guys know I think the SEC is the best conference in football year in and year out. I think they've got the best players, the best coaches, the best teams, um, the best fans. I'm, I'm, I don't hide my SEC homerism. Um, and so I don't know what the committee is going to do. If they put Bama in, I, I'll be pulling for Bama. I'm an SEC guy, and when we play Bama, I hate Bama. Uh, but if Georgia's not in the playoffs, uh, you, you guys know I pull for the SEC uh, no matter what in any non-con game. Um, especially the playoffs. Uh, so so I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I have got no idea. Um, I know Georgia's not getting in, and I don't think they deserve to get in. Um, you know, I think Georgia and Alabama both had a chance in this game to prove themselves one way or the other, and one team did and one team didn't. You know, Alabama made one more play than Georgia did, and uh, they deserve all the credit uh, for the win. You know, these close games... It's easy, you, you know, you're going to be able to find 100 things in this game that you can point at and go, well, if this happened instead of that or that happened instead of this. But that's always the case in a one-score game, right? So, you know, Georgia misses a field goal. Well, don't miss the field goal. <laughs> you know, so you, you lose by three, it's real easy to look back and go, well, damn, we missed the field goal in the first half. If we just would have made that field goal. Yeah, well, you didn't make the field goal, Georgia. You missed it. Not only that, uh, you, uh, there was a false start. You know that backed it up. It made it a. It was a forty-five yarder. False start makes it a fifty-yarder. Now he had the leg. It hit off the upright. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Sorry. Hit off the upright. So you miss it. Third quarter. Georgia's defense is playing lights out, forcing all these three and outs against Bama. Bama can't even get a first down. Thirty yards total offense for them in the third quarter. Georgia's offense comes out, turns the ball over in their own red zone. Alabama takes over on the Georgia 20-yard line. And what did they do? They lost two yards total on that drive. But they were in field goal range to start with, so they kick a field goal. So you say, well, if it wasn't for that turnover. But the point is, in a one-score game, there's a thousand of those things you can say. And there's a hundred things in this game that Alabama fans can point to and say, you know, if this or that wouldn't happen, we'd have won by 10 instead of one by three. So it's irrelevant as a Georgia fan to try to go back and say, oh, well, if we would have made that field goal, it would have been tied. Well, you didn't. we didn't make the field goal. If we would have turned the ball over, well, we did turn the ball over. I mean, that's what causes wins and losses in close games. You can't miss those field goals. You can't turn the ball over. Georgia turned it over. Bama didn't. Bama gets the credit for that. They were the better team today. There's no question about it. This wasn't a fluke. Uh, this wasn't any, I mean, what can you say? This was a great game between two really good teams, and Bama came out on top. They were the better team. They are the better team. So I don't know what's going to happen. I've got no idea as far as the playoffs go. I, I feel like Washington is in. I feel like Texas is probably in. I feel like if Michigan wins, they're in. And again, I don't know what to do about the Florida State thing. I don't, I don't think they're a top. Hell, they might not be a top 10 team. Right now, honestly, you look at the top 10. I mean, you got teams like Oregon. Would Oregon beat Texas? I mean, uh, would Oregon beat Florida State? Probably. Would Georgia beat Florida State? Yeah. Would uh, Bama beat them? Yeah. Ohio State? Yeah. yeah. Missouri. Missouri might would beat Florida State. Ole Miss, whoever. But those are all opinions in their 13 the only fact is that if they win the game they're going to be 13 and 0 in a power five conference champion so i don't know what the committee is going to do i have no idea um but i i am 100 on board with everybody that says you know if alabama wins this game they deserve 
or should be in. Like they, they're a top four team, or whatever. I think Alabama probably is a top four team after this win. But man, I can't imagine the uh, mess that's going to be created if they leave out a 13 and 0 power five team. I don't know. Maybe all this will get avoided, and Florida State will just go lay an egg and lose to Louisville. I don't know. The problem is, it's Louisville. <laughs> They lost to Kentucky last week, a five-win team, so I don't know. I mean, I picked Louisville to win the game two weeks ago. Today, I'm sitting here thinking about it on the morning show today, and I said, you know what, I guess I think I, I, think I changed my mind. I think I'm going to go with Florida. I have, I have no idea who's going to win the Louisville-Florida State game, and that's unusual for me. I usually have an opinion and a strong opinion, and I don't waver. I've wavered on this one, and the opinion ain't strong. I've got no idea. I've got no clue. I know who I would pick if Florida State was playing uh, Bama. I'd pick Bama. Um, but I, I don't know what the committee's going to do. It's going to be a mess. 12-team playoff next year, I guess, will solve some of this problem. But look, <laughs> you're still going to have the arguments with a 12-team playoff, except instead of arguing over number four and number five, we're going to be arguing over number 12 and number 13. And look, Part of that is why we love college football, because it's not the NFL. It's not cut and dry. It's not black and white. It's not, you know, this team gets in from this division and this many teams from this conference. And it's not, you know, it's not the NFL. It's not. Uh, it, it, it is partly subjective. And that's one of the things that separates college football uh, from the rest of the sports, really, in the world. Um, no other sport picks their postseason the way we do with a group of people in a room in secret and we don't really know what the standards are. You know, they sort of change their criteria from day to day or whatever. So I don't know. I, I, I guess I'm drawing this video out now. I just want to make sure y'all get y'all's money's worth on on uh, this Crow video. I know y'all been waiting a long time for Georgia to lose and for Uncle Lou to tote an L. Uh, and I'm here to tote it. Georgia lost. That's all there is to it. Bama was the better team. Um, there's nothing else to say. A little, bit, a little bit of the celebration here. Is that, I guess... I don't know if that was the SEC trophy or an MVP. I don't know what that was they were giving to Milrow there. Um, uh, and again, uh, hats off to Milrow, too. That last drive in the fourth quarter was money. I don't think he played good. I don't think he's a great quarterback. I mean, I'm, I, I can't change my mind on Milrow. I mean, I, I'm, I, I, think I've, I think I've been pretty fair in this video. I've congratulated Bama. I've congratulated the fans. Y'all are the better team. I don't think I've made a single excuse about the loss. I, honestly, I don't think there's one to make. I just think Georgia got beat by a better team. Um, but look, Georgia won two natties with a quarterback that I didn't think was any good. I, I didn't like Stetson Bennett. <laughs> Hell, y'all heard all the shit I talked about Stetson Bennett and, and Georgia won two natties with him. So just because I don't think Jalen Milrow's any good doesn't mean y'all can't go on to win a natty if y'all get into the college football playoff. Uh, but, you know, no, I, I mean, I haven't changed my mind on Jalen Milrow. I, I don't think he's a very good quarterback. I think he's playing the wrong position. Uh, I think he's playing the wrong position. But congratulations again to the Alabama fans. Georgia Street comes to an end. And is it possible? Are we really going to see a college football playoff with no SEC teams? Boy, that would blow a lot of people's mind. But uh, I, tell, well, I, tell you, I, I tell you this. I'll make this prediction. Tomorrow's college football playoff selection show, what comes on at noon on ESPN, I think will be the most watched college football playoff selection show in history if Florida State wins tonight. Again, if Florida State loses, I don't think there's any questions about what's going to happen at all because um, Louisville's not getting in. So the ACC would eliminate itself and do everybody else a favor if they would just beat Florida State. Um, or who knows? Fuck. Look, shit. I've been watching college football a long time. I've seen a lot of weird shit. Maybe Iowa will beat Michigan, a cheating ass. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, but if Florida State and Michigan win tonight, it's tomorrow is going to be a mess uh, and it's going to be wild and somebody and some fan base is going to be extremely pissed off it's either going to be the alabama fan base or the florida state fan base depending on how it goes so we'll see but for the hundredth time congratulations to alabama and to the alabama fans uh y'all were the better team y'all won no excuses from uncle lou this is not my first rodeo i know a lot of y'all maybe have only been around this channel for a couple of years. And during those couple of years, George has done nothing but win. But I've been doing this for a long time. Um, I've made a lot of these videos over the years. I've seen a lot of Georgia losses in my time on YouTube. This definitely ain't the first one. Um, and it won't be the last. It won't be the last. Um, and congratulations to Georgia, too. It was a hell of a run. And, uh, 
you know, nothing lasts forever. And, uh, you know, Georgia just have to get back at it next year. We'll see where Georgia gets put, which New Year's Six game they go to, who they get matched up with. I hope it's an interesting matchup. The, the bowl games just seem to not matter to a lot of people nearly as much as they used to. Um, and I, I understand why. Uh, but maybe Georgia will get some kind of an interesting matchup. Is there any way they can match up Georgia and Ohio State? Uh, I feel like that would at least be something people would watch because uh, it was such a good game last year. Uh, I'm trying to think of the other teams that might be getting in to New Year's Six games. Georgia and Oregon, I, I don't know how they match up all these teams anymore with the bowl games, but I think there's there's the possibility is out there for a couple of interesting matchups with Georgia um, in the New Year's Six games. So we'll see. But uh, congratulations to Alabama. Um, I'll be live streaming tonight at 8 for the uh, ACC championship game, the Florida State-Louisville game, and Michigan's on at the same time. So we'll be watching. Uh, I'll, I'll have both the games on in here. So if y'all want to come hang out and watch the ACC game and the Big Ten uh, game and troll me in the comments section for Georgia losing, uh, I'll be live uh, at or around 8 o'clock for those two games. All right, talk to y'all later. Have a good morning.